decision support system by the management mainly the processes are online analytical processing oil ap data mining and the dss system what is the fourth layer shows this shows the main oil ap concepts what is oil ap online analytical processing think about the situation that you are going into a bank and asking for a credit card applying for a credit card when they give you a form you have to fill it out and give them some information like your name your age your job your salary what are your asset you own a house are you married like that a lot of questions they will ask you a lot of questions and when you fill the form and return back to them they will enter all these data into their system and with one click they will get an idea that you are going to effectively manage your credit card or not how is it possible because they have a historical data in their data warehouse stored somewhere some secure location they will access this data and they will analyze that data that a person in your age in your situation in your marital status in your annual salary is going to effectively manage or not by using this online analytical processing system they can easily come to a conclusion that you are going to pay off this credit card or you are going to effectively manage this credit card or not this is what known as online analytical processing that is a simple example of olap business prediction system is another example that is if we do this what will happen in our business later this is known as business prediction system oil ap data mining systems are dss system decision support system this will help the management to make decision the fifth layer shows the different kinds of reports generated by using a business intelligence reporting system with the help of a data warehouse hope you got a idea about the basic architecture of data warehouse so what are the main factors that we will consider when we try to develop a data warehouse think about the normal software development life cycle if somebody want to develop a software first they will be having some requirements all these requirements are analyzed and modified then they will make a design from this analysis according to the requirement then they program it after programming the application is tested by the programmer itself then it is integrated implemented and the users are testing it for user acceptance testing then it is fully implemented and maintained and supported this is the normal software development life cycle but in case of a data warehouse things are little bit different we already have some data upon this data we program that is we program against the data then by using this data we develop a dss system when this decision support system is made we will try to analyze the results that are given by this decision support system then only you can understand the requirements of the total system so this is a totally evolving system data warehouse will totally evolve all the time that's why the data warehouse life cycle design is different from a classical